The Bravo Network is an almost unparalleled reality TV factory, and perhaps with good reason. Outside of the show's outrageous storylines, many of the network's stars have led controversial lives away from the cameras. Here are the most insane reasons these Bravo stars were arrested. I can sit in jail or whatever, whatever. It's the other people that I hurt. One of the most random arrests in Bravo history, Vanderpump Rules star Jax Taylor, who was arrested in 2015 after he allegedly stole a $300 pair of shades from Sunglass Hut in Hawaii. Oh, did you have to do it, Jax? Come on, man. The drama played out on the show, and his co-stars had to cough up $11,000 to bail him out of jail, according to the Daily Mail. So we have a matter of hours to come up with 11 grand, get him out of jail, get all of our luggage, hop in an Uber, be at the airport to go to Third Eye Blind tomorrow. E! News reported Taylor was charged with second-degree theft and given 364 days of probation. The reality star was also ordered to pay, quote, $350 to Sunglass Hut, $105 to the Crime Victim Compensation Fund, and $1,150 in fees and fines, according to a local news outlet. So why did Taylor swipe the shades? He said in court, I had, again, I had too many, too many drinks, too many Mai Tais, I made a mistake. Real Housewives of New York City star Luann De La Seps is well known for her hit single, Money Can't Buy You Class, a hook which came back to haunt her in 2017 when, according to the Miami Herald, she was charged with battery on an officer, disorderly intoxication, resisting arrests with violence and crimes against a person. Did I ever think going into season 10 that I was going to get arrested? I mean... It all went down at a hotel in Palm Beach, Florida, after she drunkenly stumbled into another guest's room, then locked herself in the bathroom when police were called. Patrol car video shows De La Seps yelling at a cop. Don't touch me. I'm going to kill you. I'll kill you. According to The Blast, De La Seps reached a plea deal with prosecutors in July 2018 to avoid jail time and pleaded guilty to battery, trespassing, and disorderly intoxication. Additionally, De La Seps had to pay fines and court costs and perform 50 hours of community service. The famous Tinsley Mortimer. But Tinsley was the it girl. The it girl. It girl. She was the it girl. Real Housewives of New York star Tinsley Mortimer ditched her socialite status in 2016 when she was arrested for trespassing at her ex-boyfriend's Palm Beach, Florida pad. She's gone a little wilder these days. She's not the socialite she used to be. Mortimer seemingly lost it after her ex shacked up with another woman following their breakup. Page Six reported Mortimer showed up at her former flame's home while, quote, crying and screaming irrationally, the mag noted. After multiple attempts to calm Mortimer down from screaming, she was placed under arrest for trespass after warning. The good news? The charges were dropped in late 2016. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills alum Kim Richards wins the award for most bizarre arrest in Bravo history, thanks to her 2015 arrest for shoplifting random items at Target. According to Page Six, Richards' alleged theft of 100 items included animal crackers, scotch glue, colored pencils, stickers, and gloves. And I was like, I got it! After filling up two carts and attempting to walk out the store, TMZ reported a security guard spotted Richards. When she couldn't prove that she had paid for the items, police were called to arrest her for theft. Richards took a plea deal, with the Daily Dish reporting she agreed to 52 AA meetings, 3 years probation, 300 hours community service, and 2 days in jail. Never commit a crime while starring on a reality TV show No one knows this better than Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Judice who was convicted of bank, wire, and bankruptcy fraud alongside her husband, Joe Judice, in 2014, according to People. U.S. attorney Paul Fishman said via E! News, Everyone has an obligation to tell the truth when dealing with the courts, paying their taxes, and applying for loans or mortgages. That's reality. Teresa was sentenced to 15 months in prison, while Joe was slapped with 41 months. You either learn two things in there. You either learn how to become a criminal or a better person. So I'm going to try to become a better person. Additionally, a judge ruled that Joe should be deported to his native country of Italy, according to NBC News. Below Deck star and chief stewardess Kate Chastain is viewed by many fans as the voice of reason on the dramatic series. I am kind of a bitch, bitch sometimes. But in 2016, she was arrested for allegedly abusing her then-girlfriend, Ro Hernandez, in their home. 
A police report obtained by People claimed Chastain bit and allegedly strangled Hernandez and pulled her hair. When cops arrived, Chastain admitted that she and Hernandez had gotten into a physical fight. Chastain was then arrested and charged with battery by strangulation domestic violence. I'm a little more cautious about who I date because uh, people can appear one way and then be totally different. The felony domestic violence charge was reported downgraded to a misdemeanor in 2017.